Generate AI music, think chat GPT for music within your editing software. Let's go with a happy mood. We're doing a happy vlog. How about the lo-fi hip hop? As a seasoned Adobe Premiere user, I've been editing on Adobe Premiere for over 10 years now, and I'm a huge fan. I like it, but there are the classic flaws. Sometimes it can be slow. Sometimes it doesn't have the effects that I need. Sometimes it's just not what I'm looking for. Not to mention, it comes with a pretty hefty price tag. So if you're a video editor and you're looking for a free software that can do all the things Adobe Premiere can do and more, I've got something that might be interesting to you. We're looking at Filmora Wondershare. Now, the folks over at Filmora have asked me to take a look at their product. Uh, they are sponsoring this video. However, they said, give us your true impressions of it. Let us know what you think about the software. So I'm gonna jump in blindly with you. I've done just a little bit of looking before this, and we'll see how this product looks. It's free editing. It has a lot of features, some AI-based features that I wanna to touch on. And I think it's a fantastic option for folks who are looking to get into video editing without spending the big bucks of Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. It's a competitor to something like CapCut. So let's take a look and see how Filmora by Wondershare looks. So I immediately jump in here and just my first impressions, I've dragged a couple clips in here to show you some examples, but my first impression is this. We have our typical bin window where we can navigate through project media. We have stock media seemingly built in, backgrounds, solid colors, gradient colors, some really fantastic kind of built-in effects within Filmora here. So I like that at first glance. They're giving you some textures and elements to work with, which is really great as a new beginning editor. You just have some features that you can play around with. We've also got audio, some built-in audio, and a couple AI features we'll talk about shortly. A lot of built-in titles. So things that you can work with if you've never used an editing software, if you haven't done any graphics or animation, Filmora is gonna give you what seems to be hundreds of options for transitions, titles, we have popular transitions, we have uh, zoom transitions, fades, all the various tools you might wanna use to craft a fantastic video. And again, these are all built here as presets. They're stickers, so there's social media subscribe buttons you can just drag onto the timeline and uh, it gives you a nice little subscribe bump. Seems like it's got everything that your typical video editor would have. Something that I found was fantastic is if I go to help and I type in uh, keyboard shortcuts and I go to keyboard shortcuts, I have the option to switch my keyboard shortcuts to obviously Wondershare Filmora, Adobe Premiere Pro, or Apple Final Cut Pro. And you know, I know all of my key, key binds from Premiere Pro, so I can switch over to that. So all of your typical editing is built in here. That's basic, that's gonna come with everything. But what we wanna talk about today is some of the special features that Filmora 14 has implemented that I am finding would actually speed up my workflow more so than what I'm doing in Premiere. So might have to consider actually doing a full project in Filmora and seeing if it's making my edits better, faster, more powerful. So the first thing that I wanna show you is called planar tracking. So with planar tracking, you can take any plane, a wall, you can take a license plate, any kind of uh, geometric shape and attach something to it, whether that be a photo, text, uh, another video, anything like that. So let me show you an exact example of this. When we go to our clip, whoops, this is the clip I'm gonna use. Just this, we were in Greece earlier this year, we have this example here. I want to attach something to my uh, pillars here, to the front face here of the uh, of the Parthenon here. So what I do for that is I click on my video and over on the right side here, we get a panel where we can make adjustments to our video, our audio, our color. And I gotta say with the color as a quick aside, fantastic defaults for color correction. You can see me clicking through here, really nice options. And then of course we can come in here and make our edits after. What we can do is if we go to video and we head over to AI tools, there's a whole bunch of AI features that we can use. What I wanna show you here is planar tracking. Track and replace planes in videos. Perfect for obscuring license plates, replacing screens and billboards. So I'll turn it off and then I'll turn it back on. What we wanna do here is we have an auto and an advanced tracker. Let me show you how the auto works because it's really effective. I'm just gonna to go to the middle of my thing here, click auto, and I'm given a box on my screen. 
All I have to do is drag the four corners, whoops, to the shape of the plane that I'm trying to track around, which would be the front face of this wall. And I hit start. And it's going to basically run through and track the plane as it moves across my video sequence. So we'll give this just a moment. So this has gone through and you can see now the shape has tracked with my clip through the entirety of the clip. Done a really nice job, even with people moving across the frame, it's kept a fantastic jump here. So now we have the option to link an element. We can add a mosaic, we can import from computer, or it could be something on our timeline. So what I'm gonna do is just bring down a subscribe button here, pop that on top, and now I'm going to go back to this and link to element social media subscription, and we have a fantastic looking element. So you could do this with a number of things, but it's a super easy way to track something onto a plane in Filmora Wondershare. The next feature I wanna talk about is the music stretch tool. Now, so many of us video editors know what it's like when you've gotta make that music edit to match the length of your video. Let's say you have a three minute video, but your song is only a minute and a half. You gotta go in, you gotta duplicate sections, or you gotta find another song. Well, Filmora has solved that issue with their music stretch tool. Let's take this song right here. This song goes from about the two minute mark to the 428 mark, but let's say we wanted it to be a little bit longer than that. All you need to do is click on your audio track, head up to this bar of icons above your timeline, click on this one here. It's the audio stretch tool. You could also hit S as a hotkey. And when that's enabled, you can actually stretch your song to be as long as you want it to be. So we're stretching this one out to about a four minute duration. And just like that, the edits are done crystal clear for you. If I wanted to make this song 10 minutes long, I could stretch it even further and it makes the edits. If I wanted to bring it down, to a short length of time. It's gonna make those edits for me as well, just like that. It's a massive time saver. It's the audio stretch tool in Filmora. This is something I will absolutely be utilizing. One of the really fun tools that Filmora has is an AI translation tool. So have a look at this clip here. One of the best things I've started doing this year is getting up with me. It's an iPhone clip, walking and talking. But if I wanted to translate this clip to come up with a Spanish or a German version, Filmora can do that. So I'm gonna right click, click on this and go to the AI translation option. It's gonna say, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna translate my captions? Do I wanna translate the voice? So I'm gonna go voice and caption. And we'll go from English to Spanish. I will admit some of these features require uh, AI uh, coins, coins to operate. They do require an upgrade. So that is something to point out here. There are paid bonuses to use certain features. And we'll click translate. Now have a listen to this. Una de las mejores cosas que empecé a hacer este año es levantarme con el amanecer. Mira esto. No llega muy temprano en esta época del año, en invierno, así que ahora son como las 7.00. Flawless Spanish translation. It's taken the audio, translated it to Spanish, made it sound actually somewhat like my voice. It's even overlaid the Spanish translations and also it's given me a mouth overlay to mouth out the words so, and fit my face. Now, of course, the color's off a little bit here. No here. It makes me look a little bit creepy at times. Incredible technology that we have here, and you can do a number of different languages. Translating those captions is gonna do a lot. So really impressive what the AI translation can do. Again, you will have to pay for those credits to use a tool like this, but if you're willing to pay just a little bit for those upgrades, then you get some huge bonuses, especially for a free editing software like this. The next feature I wanna show you is the AI Video Enhancer. Now this is another feature that's gonna require a paid upgrade. Some of these AI features require just a couple credits, but again, for a free software to have to pay for a few of these elements, I totally understand. So I took a small clip here from The Lord of the Rings, a pretty famous shot, grabbed a very low res version of this. I think this is 360p. And we're gonna see what we can do with it with this AI video enhancer. So here's our kind of control, our base clip. And this is the one we're going to apply the AI to. So if we head over to AI tools and we click, go down to AI video enhancer and click generate. So you can see, here's the new clip. Definitely uh, a lot more sharpness, I would say. Kind of an odd contrast a little bit too. This is the original clip here. I wouldn't say this is a tool that I'm necessarily gonna go crazy on. I mean, I do think it's helpful. I think we're seeing some improvements in terms of sharpness, quality increase. And again, maybe this works better on an iPhone clip or something, but in this case, um, you know, it helps a little bit. Um, when we see the side by side, I wouldn't say it's a drastic 
difference, but definitely helpful. And I imagine there are certain clips where this makes a big difference on. But that is the, you know, you side here with me for the first time. That is the AI video enhancer. We're gonna also look at this clip again and look at the AI voice enhancer. So disregard translations, disregard all that. If we just have a clip that we want to improve the sound of the voice on, this is what we can do. So click on your clip, go up to audio, and head over to the AI voice enhancer. With the sunrise, look at this. Four. And when we turn on the voice enhancer. we doing this here is getting up with the sunrise. Look at this. It's gonna add a little bit more bass, a little bit more clarity. It's gonna cut, cut out some of that noise. So a really nice tool if you're doing podcasts or you wanna get decent sound out of a noisy environment. This AI voice enhancer is fantastic. It's not gonna cost any extra credits to use. So something that you can really use on top of most of your clips. Really fantastic audio options here. You can adjust pitch, you can adjust do a wind removal, some normal denoise, so some serious controls that you have, arguably more than you're gonna get in Premiere, at least that's displayed in an easy to understand and easy to adjust manner. So I'm a big fan of the audio controls here in uh, in Filmora. And just for the fun of it, there is the voice changer option, option. So let's check this out. Let's say we wanna add an echo. One of the, One of the best, best things, things I've started, started doing this year is getting up. One of the best things I've started doing this year is getting it. Just some fun options you can play with to mess with the uh, vocal sound. One of the tools that I'm finding really, really powerful is the Generate AI sound effect and Generate AI music tools within Filmora. Now, this is super fun. Think ChatGPT for sound effects within your editing software. If we head up to the audio tab, you'll see AI music and AI sound effects. Within, we have a search box. So let's say lightning crack in the summer with rain and crickets chirping at night. And we'll click generate. Now again, you can see this is gonna require some AI credits. This is just like some of the other things we looked at, like the video enhancer. You will have to pay for some of these credits to use these. So if you choose to use some of the kind of extra AI features, a little bit of a cost. Otherwise, so much of this platform is free. So fantastic, fantastic value. Now you can see we are generating sound effects based on our prompt. Lightning crack in the summer with rain and crickets chirping at night. So let's see what they give us and we'll see how they sound. All right, they've generated three results for us. So let's have a listen. Not Bad. I would say that it's about 80% there. Some of these actually could work really well as background sound effects. Um, it's definitely doing what I'm asking for, which I find to be super impressive. You know, I imagine this is one of those where sometimes it's going to work well, sometimes it won't work as well. But overall, I think it's totally usable and pretty amazing that if you don't quite have that sound effect you're looking for, you're going to be able to get it or at least something close to it with this search tool. So super impressive. And again, you can see they have an option for music as well. So let's go in and let's uh, let's pick a couple things here. So we can say, okay, what mood do we want? Let's go with a happy mood, but we also want it to be euphoric. Uh, oh, we can only choose one mood. Okay, good to know. So we'll go happy. And our theme is gonna be, we'll say we're, um, we're doing a happy vlog and the genre will be, Ooh, what kind of tune do we feel like we want? How about the lo-fi hip hop? That's a that's a pretty classic vlog sound. So a happy vlog music with lo-fi hip hop. And just check our settings. We can choose music duration, tempo, generated music count, how many songs we want it to make. We'll do three song options. Oh. Oh, this kind of has some funk. An AI generated track. Oh. Oh, now this is a tool that I like, the AI music generation. This is fun. This I could spend some time with. All right, big fan of that. The AI music generation, super fun, so many options. If you can't find the royalty-free song you want, let AI do it for you right in Filmora. So much you can do in this program. I'm actually really blown away by it. And I'm not just saying that, it's really fantastic. So just a couple more quick features to show you. And again, I'm only scratching the surface here. There is so much, I could make a five hour video just talking about the features in this program. But these are some of the new specialties coming with Filmora 14.
But something magical I want to show you is when you open up Wondershare Filmora, you have the option here for the toolbox. And this shows you not just an editing platform, but a bunch of different things that you can do. Obviously we have the AI video editor. There's image to video capability, AI color palettes to match color palettes across videos. But what I want to show you here is the auto reframe button. And when you click auto reframe, you get this box. So you can drag or import a video to bring it in here. I have a clip here. That's just me jumping off of a boat in Greece. Again, uh, my incredibly pale skin is super blown out here. Just forgive me on that. So let's say we want to reframe this and let the Filmora do it for us. We can bring it in here and choose the aspect ratio we want. Obviously it's coming in as widescreen 16 by nine. Let's say we want it vertical nine by 16 for an Instagram reel. This will actually determine where I fall in the frame and keep me within the center of the frame, as you can see here. And it's doing that wonderfully, doing the whole thing by itself. And the final feature I want to talk about today, again, we could go on for hours, but it's the smart short clips feature. So again, in the opening screen of Filmora, I can click here, smart short clips. And basically I can pop a YouTube video into uh, this account. I can, I can log my YouTube account in. I can pop a YouTube link in here and it will break my YouTube video down into short vertical videos for me, effectively creating shorts, reels, TikToks out of my long form content and doing all the work for me. So let's give this an example test. So I did a quick little video recently on how I finally stopped procrastinating. It's on the channel, you can find it here. But let's say I wanna use this as an example. I will take my YouTube link and I'm just gonna pop it in here. And I'm gonna let Filmora work its magic. So this box will pop up here. It's gonna ask for the language of the video, English, duration, auto, theme. How do we want this to feel? Video, podcast, gaming, sports, marketing. I'm just gonna leave that on auto. And finally, we have templates. How do we want this to look? What's the feel, the uh, caption style that we want? I'll go with, uh, we'll go with this one, for example. And we'll click generate. And again, this is something you will need those AI credits for because it's doing quite a bit of work for you. But if you find that this is something that works for you, then it's worth doing. Now, when you first download Filmora, you will have some, you will be granted some uh, of these AI credits so you can test out the features that you like. So you can see now our smart short clips have been generated. And this is this is really great. It shows a score out of 10 on how effective they are. It gives them a title, shows what they say, and here's the breakdown. So creating momentum, first steps matter. It's the same thing for going to the gym. Go put the shoes on. When you put those shoes on, suddenly you've started the and it's made these little clips for us. Here's another. So this is my morning rant for today. I hope it's helpful for you. Let's bridge, let's so out of Filmora, you get, I got four solid short reels out of a three minute video here. So fantastic what it's able to do for you. I definitely will be using this feature in the future. It gives you a transcription and everything. So just another awesome tool from Filmora Wondershare. So that's Filmora Wondershare. It's a fantastic editing tool, free for most, I'd say 98% of the features you're gonna get besides some of these AI features. As a premier user, I think it's a really easy transition. And as a new editor, I think it's a fantastic option to get into if you're looking for a place to jump in and start editing without spending the big bucks on some of the more well-established video editors. I think it's a really fantastic tool, something I actually plan to spend a bit more time in and get a use, uh, a sense of all these features and how they operate. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you used Filmora Wondershare? Do you like it? Have you found flaws? Have you found tools that you find are critically important that Filmora offers? Let me know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll check you back in the next one.